Hey guys, Marcus here with Marching Percussion for Band Directors. In this video, I'm just going to give you three methods as to how to clean a unison-like part. So it can be like a snare line part, something like a, a tenor part, quads, or like a, a unison bass drum line, or maybe even like if you have um, sort of a, a unison type run or something like that within your front ensemble. It just gives you a little bit of uh, sort of ideas and methods as to how to do those things. So this first one here, we're going to talk about uh, cleaning and uh, the skill set. So that just means in sort of a vacuum, taking it out and playing something like these paradiddles here. And as you can notice, what I'm doing here is I'm just playing all of them um, just flat. And I, what I'll do is go around to every individual player and clean like their motion, make sure they have nice smooth sound, make sure that they're playing the correct sticking, they're playing it nice and relaxed, they're bouncing and blending with other players. And then I would go back around and we would start to separate the height. So I'd add in um, some mezzo forte accents and we would sort of go through the same process, cleaning player to player, and then I would add in forte accents, and then I would eventually get around to adding in uh, the fortissimo accents. Now, this next sort of technique, I like to call it add-on. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna start with, um, once again, no articulation, so no flams, no accents or anything like that. Um, and I'm going to add on the actual articulation but at its full value so let's say I'm playing something like um, the accents and non accented notes what I'm going to do is add on one accent at a time so in this example I'm going to start with none of the accents and I'm actually starting on the sort of triplet uh, kind of two counts that I have in there in the second measure and what I'm going to do is go around and make sure everybody's playing the rhythm correctly and then I'm going to go back around and we're going to start to add in one accent at a time. When we get comfortable with that, and once I've checked everybody, we're going to go around and add in two accents and so on and so forth. What's important here is that I'm checking everybody um, every single time we sort of go around and do those things. Now with the third technique here, it's sort of um, a, a different version of the skill set. Um, kind of technique. So what I'm going to do is we're just going to play the whole phrase just without any articulations and uh, we can take it sort of down tempo um, but just for the sake of this uh, particular uh, uh, example I'm going to be taking it at tempo and what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to take it just straight up flat and once again I'm going to go around and make sure everybody's playing the same articulation, the same kind of balance and blend and then eventually we're just going to add on or we're going to expand our dynamic contrast. So I'm going to start to play everything with mezzo forte um, accents and then I'm going to clean that and then we're going to go around and I'm going to play everything with forte accents. And then eventually we're going to get to the point where we're playing everything with fortissimo accents. And, and once we actually get to the real heights, if I have an articulation like a rim shot or something like that, I'll go ahead and add that in there just so we won't kind of be um, chewing up sticks. Hopefully those methods will um, sort of help you guys out, give you a, just a few kind of ideas as uh, just a few ways of how I go about cleaning unison type lines and things like that. If you have any questions, definitely hit me up at my email and I hope this video has been helpful for you. I'll see you guys in the next video.